we just did an enormously good deal. This is fantastic. I rarely use superlatives, but this is really a good deal. But for the Lloyd's TSB shareholders, we're getting a huge increase in net asset value. Uh, from a customer point of view, we're building a wonderful catalog of brands that we can use to target uh, our customers better. We're getting a wonderful distribution system. And as you know, we have leading positions now uh, with the combination in current accounts, mortgages, savings accounts, and so on. So it's, it's really something that creates a wonderfully powerful franchise. We'll be able to serve our customers uh, very well. We'll be able to add great value to them, and we'll be able to grow for our shareholders. The Lloyds boss said in February they did spend around 5,000 man days looking at the deal. But how much extra work would they have done if they hadn't been rushed? We probably would have pro uh, put in somewhere uh, three to five times as much time as we put in. Gordon Brown talked Lloyds into saving H-Boss, but H-Boss sank Lloyds. The key, as I say, was making sure that uh, H-Boss didn't collapse because the consequences of that would have been catastrophic for the economy, for uh, householders and for businesses. We wanted to, 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 to safeguard the financial system. We did that successfully. I think the steps we took were right. so-called financial stability, which meant it was his job, along with the Financial Services Authority, the Sins Watchdog, to prevent Lehman's demise toppling vulnerable British banks. What would be next? And we knew straight away that the British banks, which were most under doubt, rather than the H-Boss, would be in the firing line the next day. And obviously in the States, um, it was Goldman Sachs and Morgan Stanley, the last two remaining investment banks, and AIG. And really, within a week, as you know, they had to launch this massive 700 billion program, and it was a, a few weeks till we had to launch our. And let's get the thoughts of our business editor, Robert Peston. And here we are again talking about huge banking losses. Is there any sense of regret at all about the takeover of HBOS, do you think? Well, I think they find it very difficult to say that it was a mistake, partly because there are uh, people threatening to sue them. Uh, that, uh, and, and, and in those circumstances, you know, they've got to sort of basically keep a brave face and say this is uh, the right deal. That said... Uh, it would be rather extraordinary uh, if they didn't regret one aspect of it, uh, if they hadn't had time over again, which is that they did not know the full extent of the losses being generated on some very reckless loans being made, or that were made, by HBOS. Uh, the full extent of the charges, the losses that Lloyds has made on those bad loans made by HBOS over the past year is 19, point, no, sorry, 19 billion pounds. It's an astonishing sum of money. They've basically written off 8% of the corporate lending. It's a sort of mind-boggling scale of bad debts. Mm. Uh, 